Welcome back, Achievers. We're going over Capcom's E3 2021 showcase. Not only am I joined by my regular co-host, Alex, I am also joined by the one, the only... Jesus, this is grandiose. Emmy Watkins Jr. How are you doing, sir? I am doing okay. Uh, thanks for hitting me up. I'm happy to hop on and uh, chop up some Capcom news with y'all. Dude, Hopefully I, it's good. I, I, let me tell you, I was like, Emmett. First off, you're our first guest ever, so congrats for oh, that. Whatever wow, that hey. means, whatever that means to you, enjoy that. Second, glad to pop the guest, Cherry. I, yes, yes. There we go. Second, I was like, surely he's busy, and I hit you up on Twitter, and you're like, no, nah, I'm free. I was like, get in here. Yeah, now, you got me on a lucky day, man. I worked at 7 a.m. just so I could be here. Yeah, <laughs> yep. He planned ahead. He already knew I was going to ask. Now, you, right before I hit record on this beautiful OBS screen. Yeah. He said the words Pepsi Mango. Now, not only is it a Pepsi product, but someone jammed a mango inside of this thing. So what mm-hmm. is going on with this so, this this soda you're drinking now? <laughs> We've all Capcom heard of like... Wait, I want to know this Pepsi. <laughs> <laughs> We've all heard of like Cherry Coke and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. So that's not foreign. This is just that, but it's mango. Uh, here it is on screen for people. And I really, I'm not even like into it. I just saw it on the store <laughs> shelf and I was like, honestly, I just saw it and I was like, I wonder what that tastes like. So I bought it and it's, I am not going to buy this again, but I'm going to finish the bottle. <laughs> that is, uh, that is my feeling. endorsement out. from Pe- for Pepsi Co. Yeah, there. I, I saw it and I, and I just bought it. That's usually my thing. I was like, I see a drink and it's brand new. I'm like. I'll grab it. I want to see that on a Pepsi bottle next time I see it. Emmett Watkins. (laughs) (laughs) I'm not going to buy it again, but I'm going to finish the bottle. (laughs) I think if I had to put an official quote on this, it'd be like Emmett Watkins Jr. quote, it's I. (laughs) It's I. Okay, it's I. (laughs) Exactly. We'll just leave it there. But uh, we'll we'll see if I finish it by the end of the show. We had a small conversation beforehand on what to expect. We're all kind of in the same boat here. I have no idea what we're about to get into. This could literally just be Resident Evil Village came out. Here's like sales numbers and here's some DLC maybe. Another challenge. I I have, have, yeah, I have literally zero expectation for this. Maybe some Monster Hunter Rise stuff. That's out. Ooh. So maybe that? Monster Hunter Rise. What I was thinking of while we, right after we had that conversation, what if, because Resident Evil 7 had a season pass, what if enough right. time has passed for them to announce mm. something for 8? Mm. Um, don't know what it would be, but don't everyone loves Lady Daramatrice, so. Yeah. That's true. You have to imagine they're, they're, they looked at that and like, that's a missed opportunity. Now, I don't know if people play the game, so I won't spoil what happens, but I wonder if they're like, maybe we put some DLC <laughs> with her in there and get some people back. I know. <laughs> yeah. Oh, so go this ahead. Is a game, this is a game conference. Do you think we will see a glimpse of that Netflix Resident Evil show at all? Mm, mm, no, I hope I not. So. It, I'm hoping <laughs> not. And, and it says I hope not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> not because I dislike the show, but because last time someone wanted to show their transmedia property in a press conference, yeah, it was the Gearbox show. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Alex did not watch that Gearbox show. Did you? Uh, I saw most of kind of funny's talk through of it, and it looked like it was not great. Oh, it was rough, <laughs> Emmett. Emmett, it was mm-hmm. rough. Yeah, I, I, I was cringing at every bad. stop. Every time we went back to Randy Pitchford knocking on someone's trailer, praying to God they come out, I'm like, oh my God, <laughs> stop! Why is this happening? <laughs> yeah, Kevin Hart did not seem like he wanted to be there talking <laughs> to him right there. Bro, that was my favorite part. Was uh, Kevin Hart goes, "What? Like, like, like he comes out like, <laughs> what do you want, man?" <laughs> This is the third time. What do you want from me? <laughs> Security, get this man from my door. <laughs> God, I love it. My God. Oh, my God. I love it. I'm surprised yeah. there's like no countdown to this. It's, yeah, it's just like... They're just like... Pop off. Any day now? They don't want to get you too excited. They're like, hey. Yeah. Honestly, they know how tired we are of countdowns leading to other countdowns. So they say, you know what? No numbers. Just, oh my we'll God. just kick it off. Why has that true. been a thing this year? Because it's not like it's one like, person did it. Yeah. It's like Ubisoft did it. It's, and it's, then... it's like three hours later. And then at zero, it's like 10, <laughs> nine. I'm like, why? Like, it is the worst thing. One. But hey, I think whatever. Here's the thing. Because no one has hyped this up. I'm afraid that this is going to be completely disappointing, but I also know that Coach Media hyped their thing up and Gearbox hyped their thing up. Oof. So, like, that's not necessarily a defining trait. Mm. <laughs> so, I, I want to say that one thing. It's, it's been a while since we've had a 
I feel like in E3, like an E3, like, you know, yeah. it's been at least E3. Like this. But like, mm-hmm. who this year has been so far, I don't know about you, I mean, I, I'd be curious about you, but so far I have been very lukewarm, like, oh my God, I had fun at Xboxes, mm. some indie stuff was really cool, I enjoyed, um, uh, oh, well, here, here we go. go, it's finally starting. Well, we're about to enjoy this, I hope. Oh, I hope so. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, the Resident Evil anime. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no! Welcome to the Capcom E3 Showcase. Here. I'm your host, Rachel Querico, aka Seltzer, and I'll be your guide as we walk through the latest releases, news, and updates from Capcom. We'll hear from the Resident Evil Village team. Oh boy, y'all are ahead of me in the stream. I'm gonna <laughs> refresh. Oh, use Twitch. Right, there we go. Yeah, we're on Twitch. We'll wrap up with some updates. Yeah, from our seems good so far. Fighters. All right, I'm so good now. Waiting for? Cool. Let's get started. Our first stop today. Resident okay. Evil All right, let's go. The okay. Resident Evil franchise continues to pioneer the latest and greatest in survival horror. The team has been blown away I by bet the you called to that. Resident Evil Village. Which <laughs> God, if it's if month, it's a season pass for RE, I'm gonna lose my shit. In this long story, as the franchise celebrates its 25th anniversary this year, I'm honored to be able to introduce Suyoshi Kanda, producer on Resident Evil Village, with a special message for the fans. Mm. Speculating. <laughs> Another time. There she goes, mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. Lady D. Ooh wee, Lady D. There's nothing to fear. Spoilers for anybody who is in the you know, audiences. <laughs> they have no context Look, for that bro. scene. Right. I've literally only played the first like three hours, so. Really? You, never, you haven't been yeah. it? Yeah. Oh, oh no, I haven't been it yet. Oh, I didn't get it at launch though. I got it like mm. two or three weeks ago. Oh, okay. okay, no, that makes way more sense. Yeah. Let's see. Village. All right. I don't Lay know if I, could, I uh, talk to it for, for Elijah, but I enjoyed it. Hi, oh, okay. A lot of people enjoy it. I'm sure I will too. The first couple hours were pretty fun. Yeah, I, ha- I had a good time. This opportunity to thank Excellent. everyone who's played since we launched the game in May. We hope you're enjoying this new chapter in survival horror. As a reminder, everyone who purchases Resident Evil Village will gain free access to our online multiplayer title, Resident Evil Reverse. Mm. Oh, mm. go head to head 20 minute demo of Reverse. Oh, yes, <laughs> please give it to me. Don't, oh, please no. don't. That was a joke. Don't actually give that to me. Yeah. We might get a release date though. Across all supported platforms. Let's see. So it's happening. It's like a... I don't know how do you even explain this. It's like kind of like a... It's an online mode, but like you're fighting as Resident Evil heroes. Is this the thing yeah. that I wanted the demo the other day for? Remember yeah. I was oh, playing something? There we it was go. like a... Oh, there, development just started. Oh, oh okay. Additional DLC. I was okay. right. You're right, yeah. You're kind right. of. You. Kind, yeah. <laughs> kind of, yeah. They don't, they don't want to use the word season pass yet. Yeah, right. They're just like, Hunter. we're making... It might just be one piece. There you go, Monster Hunter. All right. We've got something for you. That was a quick RE segment. Damn, yeah, that was really quick. Wow. I was, I, yeah. I was really They're expecting like, them to really they, We got nothing. That's true. Wings of Ruin. All right. Let me say this first. Do we care about Monster Hunter here? I, I don't. don't. Okay. Are you a Monster Hunter? Well, then. I don't, I don't, I don't actually know. Go ahead. Do you like Monster Hunter? Well, I was going to say, this game, when they showed this in the Summer Games Fest, yeah. during that segment, I was like, man, this this is a bad show. <laughs> and it, wasn't, it wasn't because, like, respect to Monster Hunter people, but, like, it had came right after, like, what is it? D and D Dark Alliance, yep. a game I'm actually wanting to play. Same here. They yep. showed a let's play for that, yes, and I was like, "What the hell's going on?" So, like, yeah, I have trauma with this game now. So we'll see what they do now. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm very every much time a, you see it. Yeah, I'm very much. A, yeah, I tried Monster Hunter World, bit. and I was very much like, "Okay, yeah, this is not for me." I dipped out. I felt like I needed to have a like a degree in Monster Hunter in order to understand anything. That's yeah, man. You. I don't know how to dual wield a, a wyvern. I don't know what the words <laughs> are in that game. I got two wyverns. <laughs> exactly. Oh, it's oh. cracking. <laughs> You're getting a buddy. <laughs> He's going to grow up and eat you like a hippo. <laughs> yes, like the hippo on Twitter. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, this game definitely tries to hype the fuck out of you because this music and the cutscenes, but I'm like, 
Still not buying it. Well, see, what's funny is on paper, yeah. I should like Monster Hunter. Like, this looks like, mm -hmm. like some high mm -hmm. JRPG nonsense oh, that skin, I would love. Dude. Same. Yeah, because I love those JRPGs. I mean, I love Sword Art, Attack of Titan, and all the things. I mean, I feel like I should huh. I like the Tales games. I mean, I think it's just a case of, you know, you have the anime you like, and everything else is just sitting there. Mm -hmm. Can't help but to a certain degree. You got your My Hero, you got your Bleach. You usually only like one of those. <laughs> true, true. Let's see here. This is giving me Dragon Quest vibes. Oh my god, I was going to say the same thing, dude. Like, I feel like this Whoa. is Dragon here Quest. Like, I didn't know if I was like, is this still Monster? <laughs> Yeah, it's very cutesy in the yeah. Dragon Questy way. Yep. What kind of power does Rather really have? Why are all of these pits appearing? Hmm. And who are those people who want to take Rather for themselves? All I have. Oh, is uh oh. Is... Dragon starts singing Akon. Locked up. <laughs> Rather will become anxious too. He needs to know that you will protect him no matter what. Oh my God. I can see that cat's face. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Yo, this is awesome. This is so far the best thing ever. Dude, I never, I've never understood the cat thing in this Monster Hunter world. Well, like, cats are fine, but, like, that cat's face specifically is, like, a different art style than everything else in a jarring way. No, see, that's... Now, that needs to be a motto. Emmett Watkins Jr., your cats are fine. <laughs> I'm sorry, that's getting me. This is awesome. <laughs> Best conference. Oh lord. Uh, best conference already. <laughs> oh boy. Yeah. Xbox what? <laughs> exactly, right? The cat's face is off too. See, that cat looks normal, that but the other cat's normal. eyes yeah, yeah. too circular. Yep. Oh my god. Alright. Stories 2. Wings mm. of Ruin. Alright, well. Good for you, uh, monster yeah. hunters. All right, that's the conference. You could, uh, you could pay me a hundred dollars. Is that game out? I have no idea. <laughs> I don't think so. I think they just announced it, right? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I remember that was in the Nintendo Direct when people were expecting Breath yeah, of the Wild. Yes, so. that's right. That's right. <laughs> Low key, it was either it was like a weird mix of like, is that the Dark Souls logo or is that the Triforce? <laughs> Oh, the so wolf. Um, what's the wolf's name in, th in the first Dark Souls with the big oh, ass sword? with the yeah, I know what you're yeah. talking about now. Yeah, huh? I, totally forgot I don't know about why that I guy. Keep wanting to say Sif, but that's not it. Um, <laughs> I honestly, you might be Honda something. I think it is. <laughs> Let me see. Oh, amiibos. Oh wow. I don't know why oh, wow, I was expecting a... amiibos, but yeah. All right. This is a game game. Yeah, and now it's real. <laughs> you got amiibos? Yeah. You're telling me? July Lord 9th. have mercy. Okay. It ain't real until Looks fast travel is tied to it. <laughs> it's the great, the gray wolf the Sif. You were correct. I was right. Oh my god. There you go. And I just redid all the Dark Souls. I had an iron. Wow, that's a good pull. Soon after the game's release, <laughs> you can get an early peek at the game with the Monster Hunter <laughs> Stories 2: Wings of Ruin trial version, starting on June 25th. Like interesting cadence in it. I love her jacket. And yes, the cadence was very interesting. Yeah. But I like mean, the dress, the, the side red, the red, lo the little the red stripe reminds me of the oh, huge success. Yeah, I just realized there was a stripe there. She's killing in that outfit. You go, girl. Get it. Okay, she did the little shoulder turn. All right, I'm feeling her energy. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Interesting cadences or not, I fuck with her. <laughs> All right, let's see. Monster on her eyes. Wait, this just came out, didn't it? Yes, this just came out. Yeah, uh, so... Wait. Okay. Capcom so, collab. They're showing they just off a... Re oh, okay. Yeah, they're showing off a collab between the stories, too. Okay. Us. I thought they were just re-showing the, the trailer of the game coming out, oh, which yeah. is out already. I don't know, yeah. That awesome. Okay, so it's like a cartoon cat in a realistic world. Mm -hmm. Completely normal. Completely normal in Monster mm. Hunter. Yeah. At least it's the one cat with normal eyes, not the circular looking cats. <laughs> so weird. That's part of you. Oh boy. <laughs> Is that cat? <laughs> Look at the kitty's eyes. Alright, kaiju battles. Alright, that's, All right, what it feels that's like. fine. Yeah, true. <laughs> Alright, this is not related to anything. Someone just spammed an OnlyFans emote in the chat of this thing. <laughs> yes. Yes. That is interesting. <laughs> Who knows what's Play. that directed to? For all we know, it's the dragon. 
Uh, I guess we're dragging something. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> oh boy. Oh yeah, I am gonna make a lot of corny dose. That's just part of it. Yes. BT dub. Yep. That's what we got you on here. You yeah, there we go. It's working out. There's a. L they talked about this game way longer than any of the Resident Evil yes, stuff. Yes, they did. Yes, they did. And I'm also very huh. confused on what we're even seeing. Was dances are being added? Is that what this is? I think like emotes, yeah. Okay. It's, I think Monster Hunter is like the biggest thing out there Monster right now for them. Uh, well, that and yeah. it's a huge game, which is which Hunter it's one of those games where I feel like it's like Rainbow Six, where we you don't realize there's a lot of people, and then you like look it up and you're like, whoa, well, this thing sells that's not mm -hmm. the only thing Capcom has in exactly. store for us this July. Fans of Phoenix Wright will have new chapters to explore. Phoenix oh. Wright, Phoenix Wright. Yeah, that was them. Ace Attorney Chronicles. North American right. and European future attorneys will finally be able to get their hands on the great Ace uh -huh. Attorney. Another adventure. interesting uh -huh. sentence. Yeah, Ace but that was the writing. Resolve, yep. Which were previously only available in Japan. You'll travel back in time to the late 19th century Japan and London to play as Ryunosuke Naruhodo, Phoenix Wright's ancestor, in this action-packed prequel. Now let's hear more about the story. So dun, 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 dun. this mystery. Now is this an is this a remaster of like the DS games or is this a brand new entry? I'm pretty sure this is a remaster because I, I could have swore she said these are being brought to America for the first time. I think. Good point. So I'm pretty sure these games have come out before in Japan. Possibly. Damn. Gunshots. All right. Yep. This is anime. <laughs> yeah. True. We must solve this case, Naruhodo-san. Let us engage in the art of deduction. He did not say her luck, Sholmes. <laughs> it's sh it's sh oh no, it's really Sholmes. <laughs> it is. All right. It would seem the truth is now tantalizingly hmm. close. The defense demands its right to a cross-examination. This looks a lot more involved than the DS games. It does. Yeah. The art style gives me uh, Valkyria Chronicles vibes as well. Yeah, I guess it does. Yeah, you're right. Yeah, it is very Valkyria Chronicles. What is happening? I almost got really hyped. I thought that was a uh, Castlevania character for a moment. <laughs> Don't get me started, Emmett. Don't get me started like, with the Castlevania. What? <laughs> Not to get anyone too excited, but I was like, huh? So we have 10 new cases All right, good, good. and eight Respectable. mini escapades where you can take on the role of a defense attorney. Now, we all want to see some gameplay, right? Let's take a closer yes. first look Depend at the game. gameplay features new to Love the franchise good in the Great attorney. Ace Attorney Chronicles. Dance of deduction <laughs> and summation <laughs> examination. Dance what? of deduction and summation examination. Hello, I'm Jonathan. Oh boy. Brand you want to say those two things? Are... That really gets me going. So That's it. Those, those are some $45 words she just said. <laughs> <Yep>. <laughs> if you wouldn't mind. Oh boy. To present two new gameplay features, dance production and summation examination. Coming to the Yo, shout out to the person that's losing it right now. Because you know there's like a oh, group of people. One, yep. There's that paper group in the air freaking out. Dude. That dangerous yeah. production's finally coming to America. <laughs> Man, some of us have been doing that dance for decades, but our. Oh, boy. Jones is like a goofy character. And I respect it. I d yeah, I like that they're going all in. I get Whoa. <laughs> What is this? What is this? Snip, snip, snip. He's like, haha, I'm cutting up. Oh my god. I don't know this bearded man's name, but I want to call him Bartholomew. Bartholomew, yep. Please Bartholomew, god, the scissor scandal. All right, I, I am kind of confused on what's happening here. Is he pointing this out, or is this just a pre-rendered cutscene that just happens? I, I. It looks like they're looking at each other, so I assume they're there. But it looks like he's thinking about this in past tense. 
I don't know what to believe. I love that this guy's just chilling while he like says all this stuff and he could just leave or something. But he's like, "Nah, finish your stuff, man. You deserve you deserve a turn." <laughs> he's all right. I mean, you can't dance alone. Well, actually, that's false. But mm, yeah, for the sake of argument. <laughs> Man's identity. Yunosuke and Susato will then discuss to correct the flaws in Herlock's deductions. Huh. At this point, players will be prompted to search for clues that help identify the errors in the detective's logic and reveal the truth to the mystery. You're playing as a detective now? I thought you were an attorney. So you're copy editing Sherlock Holmes' work? Yeah, I'm gonna say, I think, I think this is a sh Wait, what did he just do? Herlock will amend his Dude, oh. I have no idea. They're looking... Oh, he's cutting his hair, not his beard. The case is cracked? We got it. Put him away forever for whatever he did. Yeah, man, it's over. We're blowing this pop stand. Oh, I see. So his hair is coming out of the wig. So that beard's fake, then. Oh, so this is a woman. Oh. Oh. Okay. oh. We got it. Okay, that's a little bit like. <laughs> all right. <laughs> like I I've seen long hair on all types of people, but okay. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, you have long hair. <laughs> Can't be a man. It's like, I what? Yeah. <laughs> what? Acting like totally Kyle wasn't a thing. I don't hey, know why that's the first long-haired man totally I thought. Totally Kyle. Oh my god. <laughs> you punched me in the face with the statue right there. Here you go. Shout out to Amanda Show. Wow. Man, 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 Amanda Show. Bingo. That's the one. Oh, we got you. Oh. All right. I rest oh. her. Are we doing that? <laughs> Is she in trouble? I don't understand the game. Was the nose fake? Because it's so real. Yeah, yeah, it was. It was fake. Yeah, I assume it was For part true. of it. Get a, a ballerina on the run. All right, cool. Interesting. Dang. So you're telling me Sherlock Holmes didn't think to turn her around? <laughs> okay. Hey, well, hey, uh, what's going on back here? <laughs> Is this like the druggy version from the Benedict Cumberbatch show? Yes. <laughs> yeah. All right, that makes sense then. Doing the heroin. That show is actually pretty good. I haven't finished it. <laughs> uh, well, okay. I don't want to say anything negative on the show because we've never seen it, but I watched mm. a really long video essay about why the show was bad, and it was very mm. compelling. Interesting. <laughs> I but I will not. I watched. I will not ruin it for you. I watched one episode. the jury in your And it was like after this huge thing happened, and it was like, yeah, this huge thing happened, but it didn't. And here's how. And it was this very detailed 20-step process, and it took like 30 minutes to explain. And I'm like, what is this? What the show is? Yeah, each episode is like an hour and a half. To. Mm-hmm. It's weird. It's strange, but not as strange as this game. evidence from the court record. Yeah, fair enough. Contradiction in their claims. Boy, howdy. Oh, Jesus. When you successfully point out one of these contradictions among oh the jurors, Oh my. I just got to the It's mad. He he wants to oh, oh, boy. Fist, each juror you persuade. That was a little bit more graphic than I was expecting in this game. Yeah, yeah. This dude's dead in your for sure. Bring each contradiction to light huh. and persuade the jury to help prove your client's innocence. Objection! My lord, with all due respect, this is an outbreak. I'm glad games like this, this exist, even if I'll never play it. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> See, doesn't that look like an Alucard looking motherfucker? I was <laughs> just about to say it. I tried to hold it back, but yeah, that is definitely some Alucard looking mofo walking out like what? You're not a vampire? Thanks for watching. Goodness gracious. It already seems like I have right. a bunch of games to catch up on. There are some exciting new adventures and titles to look forward to. Well, that's a look at the new premieres from Capcom, but what about esports? Let's Give me close out today's showcase back. with a few words oh, yeah, no problem, from two no of the stars of Capcom Fighters. Wait, Rob oh, Lee bro. I forgot, Capcom. Going on with Capcom I forgot Capcom made uh, Street Fighter. <laughs> Honestly, I earlier was in the list. I was like, oh, what are they? What is it? Resident Evil, Monster Hunter. I was like, what else is there? And I was like, I forgot. <laughs> and I was, yeah, you just mentioned Street Fighter. I was like, oh, yeah. Yep. Because I just want them to make a rebooted Dino Crisis, but like, when they said sports, I was like, what shooter do they have? <laughs> but yeah, this makes sense. Oh, my bad, I had to take a call real quick. No problem, no problem.
Don't let it happen again. Yes, sir. <laughs> you, you, you left right during the esports time, so it's all good. We're probably missing nothing of substantial import. I, I went, actually, now that I think about it, I, I, maybe that's not where this is going, but I wouldn't be surprised if they were like, yeah, we're partnering with PlayStation for this Evo that's coming up. Oh. But, well, I feel like they're indirectly already like... Yeah, I guess that's... I mean, Street Fighter Five is still PlayStation 4 exclusive mm -hmm. and PC, and they already own Evo, so just by them doing Evo would be like, yeah, we're partnered with them. Yeah, I guess you don't even have to really say that. Yeah. Unless they want to counteract all the Xbox love that's happening right now <laughs> in some indirect way through Capcom. Yep. That'd be weird. Yeah. So in this year's hmm. CPC overall, they're respecting me, their their controllers. So what did he say? <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> oh boy, why is my phone on? <laughs> oh, it's way over there. I think I'm safe. Now you get. I so don't hear ring. anything. All right, we're good then. Nothing happened. I everybody. definitely didn't know Backstreet Boys was your ringtone. <laughs> <laughs> Backstreet is back for life. You yep. Know? <laughs> 2021 official stage and set and that's a place that you are very very familiar with that's right we take all of our events and broadcast it live from the stage and we check out all that man event. reminds me of lil del rey which or i don't think it's lil del rey the the guy from uh get out who was the friend who told him not to go oh yeah oh yeah okay it reminds me of that guy a little bit yeah i could i could see where you're going with that god that movie that is a big change yeah so cool. hell of a film oh my god I haven't seen it. Oh, Alex. Mm. I've heard it's really good, though. I oh want to I want to watch it. Dude, it's very good. It's, it's very good. Yeah, it's, yeah. I don't even want to say anything more. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I won't even say anything more. Yeah, it's, it's good. Oh, I guess you I should something watch it. To watch. All right. Uh, yeah, I've been trying to find something to watch, and I actually restarted Black Sails, and I was like, because I, I don't got anything else, and I was like, I guess I'll go watch that. Yes, yeah, go watch go. it. Go watch it. Maybe not with your newborn, though. Maybe not with No, for sure. Maybe not. Maybe not. No, no, I'm not even watching Black Sails with anyone. <laughs> to be like, uh, all all those months in the womb just for you to show me this. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like when she was a couple months dead? old, I was watching the whole series of Attack on Titan. So, and then later on, she just oh my god. <laughs> and I'm like, oh, I see where she's getting from. Yep. <laughs> oh boy. Parenthood is a series of trial and error. But now mm -hmm, you mm -hmm. actually have your teammates at your back. Oh, it's all trial. It has, I don't feel like there's been an error, but you know, we'll see. You won't know. The fun thing about being a parent, you won't know until 15 years from now. And then you'll be like, oh, that fucked you up? Oh, sorry. Just <laughs> <laughs> uh, make sure boy. we won't happen again. Every time someone over six feet smiles, she flashes back. <laughs> I'll tell you, man, one th that was one, that's one anime I are competing for their Jesus. place in the world first off i love it the second month. is Be sure to dark the official my god website for more information mm -hmm. including current from what i've seen of it yeah it's dark schedule. the funny thing about attack on titan is that i never watched the anime but my friends really wanted to see the live action movie that came out oh and, wow and I, oh my god. I watched that with them and that's the only exposure i've had to that entire franchise you pulled you pulled an really? avatar last airbender bro Loki. Mm -hmm. At least I saw Avatar, though. Okay. Avatar mm -hmm. didn't watch. That's much better. I'm, I'm making it up slowly but surely. Hmm. Now, this segment is even longer than the Monster Hunter uh, segment, it feels. Yep. 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 Hey, they love them. So. I want to say three times as long so far. <laughs> what a mercy. Make sure you guys tune in. I will like, say, he's, he's, he's getting it. I will say, I do hey, like man. watching high level play. Um, from especially fighting games, like when I can see like yes. a, a grand finale of a of a, some sort of event with Street Fighter mm. in it, it's always exciting. Yeah, like I feel like fighting games are like the best esport to watch, just because like mm -hmm. in a shooter you get outplayed before they even take a shot. Mm -hmm. In this, it's like you you see all of the action yeah. going back and forth on screen. And then you have like that great cross between like viewer and playing with like fighters where like mm. it's like watching an anime almost when you're watching that thing thanks yeah guys. pretty it's much really exciting Very season compelling. so far and i can't wait to see how this All plays right. out on the road to capcom cup remember to check out capcom fighters i feel like it's going to be over after this i was about to say yeah it's probably wrapping up here matches. 
So that's a wrap for Capcom at yep. E3 this year. Let's recap what we all saw. <laughs> oh, yep. Resident right, Evil Village is. is back with the latest installment of the survival horror experience and RE Verse as part of the franchise's 25th anniversary. So all they told us is they're working on DLC. Yeah. To embark on in the world Damn, of they had Hunter, nothing ready. Very interesting. They didn't even have the title. Wings of Ruin. And Monster I, you know what I bet? Something and like, don't hey, to it's going to be about this. I bet they weren't planning on making DLC for RE8. I bet they were just like moving on to the next game or something. Mm -hmm. But I, I saw sales numbers earlier, either yesterday or today. Uh, Resident Evil 8 was the best selling game last month. Was it? Uh, yeah. And it, it has the most sales, I think, most sales of the entire franchise up to this point. So it sold wow. a shit ton. That means it, yeah, and that means it sold a shit ton because six sold like stupid numbers for especially for yeah. what it is. Well, like I think uh, like sales to date, like opening month right. type numbers. Yeah, though. Right, right. There's some type of specific stipulation on it, but I just know it sold very well. Mm -hmm. And with the popularity of Lady Demetrius, I feel like they might be trying to scramble together some like origin story for her. That'd be There's just something. Hopefully, because they need to they need to help that a little bit. No spoilers. Yeah, I mean, I know she gets a she ain't gonna be in rush hour three moment at some point, but <laughs> that's that's all I know. I don't know what that moment is. I, I, oh my god, yes! Like I, <laughs> I want that. No, I want that specific thing to happen. <laughs> I can I can I can I can see it in my head. Chris Tucker in the back, just singing Michael Jackson, <laughs> dancing back and forth. He well, looks over a Garish Castle window. She ain't oh going my to God. Looking out the window like, mm, mm, I ain't going and in Somebody's though. tuning in to the end of this and like, Rush Hour, what? What are you talking about? <laughs> yeah, they showed Rush Hour. You should, you, should, you should rewind. Figure that out. Oh, my God. That was the Capcom conference. Now, yeah. you were pretty spot on for what happened. Like, we got a slight update to Resident Evil. They showed like, oh, it sold a lot. And then they mm -hmm. announced DLC, but had nothing. Again, I'm surprised they had literally nothing to say about it. Like it was just we're making it, which is crazy. Mm -hmm. Yep. And then we had. Uh, the... I, I really, there. I'll be honest, there wasn't really much of a highlight to any of that stuff. I, I I'll bring that up. The Monster Hunter I, again. I'm sure there's some Monster Hunter fan that's freaking out right now. Like, my God, that was the best conference of my life. I got stories yep. too, and some more Rise content coming. <laughs> but I, unfortunately, no one here has any attachment to that series. Um, and then we had the that guy's uh, friend freaking out about Ace Attorney. Again, no one oh, here yeah. seems, <laughs> seems to be cared, but, but there was a huge Ace Attorney thing. Um, yep, true. And that's kind of it, right, guys? I mean, I don't, I don't, anything yeah, like, you guys want to bring it's... up that you liked? It was sim it was simple. I mean, it was nothing crazy. I mean, I think just like me, I'll probably play Re the Resident Evil DLC when it comes out. Yeah, I, I will. From too. all that, uh, uh, Emmett, you uh, you brought up that you watched Cult Media. I mean, at least this was thirty minutes. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, like, thank God. Uh, yeah, oh my God. I mean, oh God. if you have nothing to show, at least keep it to thirty minutes. Even though that didn't technically help the Gearbox, but at least <laughs> you kept it semi short and sweet, and you didn't just grab. 30 minutes and just start squeezing their, like, I mean, at least, hard. at least for this one, they like, cause I actually looked it up. They, sh they straight up announced like, here's everything we're talking about today. And mm. they didn't really deviate at all. Cause apparently I've seen tweets from before the showcase started where right. it was like, here are the games they are going to be talking about. And I'm like, all right, they talked about all these games and it was nothing else. So, mm. uh, I, I can't say that I'm like disappointed. This is just one of those where, uh, it's less that, I'm going to say the same thing I said for the Square Enix conference, which I think was good, mm -hmm. but just not everything in there was for everybody. And Whoa. this is what mm. that is for me. First off, not gonna, everything in here was for everybody. Now, I want to talk about Square Enix. You you and you said you <laughs> thought that was good. I want to talk about that. It's OK. I thought it was OK. I thought it was like a seven or I think it was like a seven out of ten. But okay. everyone's talking about it like it's a five look, or six. Look, look, uh, the main question. Did you like Guardians? I am interested in Guardians. Okay. My thing about Guardians it. is it it doesn't look bad. It looks like an eight out of ten. Like I, I'm just gonna say mm. that. But it That's it looks like an eight out of ten in a way that I can mm. respect, but don't necessarily want to play myself. So you know, I, interesting. I know. I get what you're saying. I, I what I mm -hmm. brought up was literally watching it because I was just tearing this thing apart <laughs> like halfway through because oh I was like, God. this looks terrible. But I I brought up I was like, this looks like you went back ten years ago 
and and said, "Hey, you need to make a Guardians of the Galaxy spin-off like movie kind of thing cuz you know, Guardians is like really hype right now, so like just make something that's kind of like it but a little different." And like we got yep. that right here and I was looking at him like, first off, you're just Star-Lord. Second off, <laughs> Emmett, what's up with Star-Lord's face just coming up in the screen and like pick a decision? It's like what is this? What it's is like, this? You're, you're on him, so what's the point? Get this I mean, J- yeah. You get this JPEG of Star-Lord's face and put it underneath him. I think they're just trying to make Star Wars. I think, honestly, I think they just got super inspired by Mass Effect and just made mm. Star-Lord their shepherd. And so okay. you're making all the decisions since he's the leader, you know, it, it makes sense. Okay. But like, eh, it, it, it might not fulfill the power fantasy of playing as all these different characters and whatnot. But mm-hmm. I can respect the vision. That's my thing. That's why I respect the game so much, where mm. cause it, in a game like that, if you're playing a star Lord, especially, I would love it to just be an advanced movement shooter. Give me some like jet boosting around and I'm aiming for headshots and stuff like that. Instead, this looks like a character action game. But you're just shooting a bunch of guns in a lock-on type of way, and I'm like, that doesn't feel as engaging. But yeah, I'm I just bet it's gonna be very yeah. repetitive. Yeah, it, yeah, that was my worry too. Where I was like, ooh, if this is the game, I mean, maybe there's skill trees, yeah. maybe you know, there's a way of evolving the combat in some way. But I'm just Star Lord mm-hmm. shooting stuff for, uh, assumably, 15 hours. Ugh, I'm kind of scared. <laughs> I mean, I'll, I'll say what I said on Twitter. That looks like if you remember the Deadpool game with Nolan North. Yes, this looks like that. But like a little bit better with more focus and more budget. Mm. That's why yeah, I say it looks okay. like an eight out of ten because yeah. that Deadpool game definitely a seven. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Is that, yeah. one, is, where, is that the one where you keep bitch slapping the hell out of Wolverine? Yes, yes. that's the one. Yes. There's a yes. trophy at the end and you yeah, just keep going. You hit, you hit him like twenty yeah. times. Or something. Yeah, I remember that for yeah. sure. Yeah, yeah. So I, I, respe- I respect it. I actually rewatched the trailer with my uh, wife a little bit later, and it and the see, I think. It shows much better in that two minute and like twenty second trailer than it did in that however long f- fifteen eighteen minute deep dive where they're like talking to you about the whole game and stuff. Because I was like, yeah. at the end of it, I was like, I don't, I don't like any of this. But I, st- what's funny is I started high because I was like, yes, Guardians. Then the game was like, oh my god, I don't really care about this. And then as soon as it hit another top is when they got. Uh, grew in the box and I was like okay I like the like back and forth of all the characters even though the voice acting seems a little weird I did like the back and forth but then it ended and I was like damn it I was I was getting into it <laughs> like mm-hmm. true well hey can't wait to play that on PlayStation Plus in two years oh <laughs> he's calling Ooh. it I- he's calling it now we'll come back to you La- then ladies and gentlemen achievers <laughs> out there thank you so much for joining us for this Capcom reacts it was what we thought it would be which can't complain too much and they set expectations correctly which is i which i do respect mm-hmm. they, they set yeah. expectations first off thank you for joining us second emmett thank you so much for taking the time and, oh, and uh, yep, spending your time you. with us today where can they find no you I, I know you got a pretty good twitter so and i bring your twitter up all the time on the show it's hilarious go follow this man oh, on twitter wow. it's on screen if you're on youtube god <laughs> oh, damn go i appreciate video. that yeah it's dude you're you're Dude, keep keep it coming. You're fucking hilarious on there. All Jack, right, well, and I know you're I know you're a writer, podcast, video game utopia. Anywhere else they can follow you? Oh yeah, well, like you said, uh the Twitter's already on screen, EJ Spun61. Mm-hmm. Uh other than that, uh VGU.tv is where you can find a lot of stuff that I do. Uh that's where I do my articles. I'm probably gonna be writing a ratchet and clank review within the next couple of days because mm-hmm. I'm the biggest I'm the biggest ratchet stand on that site. I'm mm-hmm. pretty safe mm-hmm. in saying. So mm-hmm. yeah. Uh, you can check that out. I just put up a Knockout City review a couple weeks ago, too, so nice. keep that. Uh, and then, of course, the Players Club podcast that goes up just about every week. And, um, yeah, search EJ Spun 61 on anything, and you'll probably find me. <laughs> that's that's Twitch, that's Instagram, TikTok, whatever you want. You heard so, him. bingo, you heard bingo. Him here, search the man's right? name, all right? Now, <laughs> it's indeed. you know how I want to leave you. Remember, go Chief. Go Chief. <laughs>